Alright, I want to do another little video of the 2012 here. I just want to go ahead and show the startup video of it. Like I said, it's got a 16 horsepower NOS block in it, uh, rebuilt carburetor, it's hydro lift. It's got some little bitty ags on the back. Need to paint the rear seat pan and stuff on it. Got uh, cleaned up the gas tank and all. I had a little surface rust in those side rails. Need to be cleaned up. But got a little dozer blade on it. Thought I'd go ahead and do a startup video of it real quick. Choke on. <coughs> Thing is so neat. So I haven't decided yet if I want to do a full on restoration of that little tractor, but it runs pretty good. Uh, it's been around been around the block a few times, but it's got tight bevel gearbox in it. Like I said, the hydro lift works good. The funny thing is, I um, compared it to the B12 here, I guess it's just wore a little bit more. But you leave it like, even a week, two weeks, I mean this, the lift still stays up on this one. So it's got very, very slow, no leak in the, the cylinder like this one does. It runs good. Hopefully soon I'll have its brothers all together. Oh, I also want to show y'all something kind of cool. This one right here is the earliest uh, 2012 I have. I didn't realize I used different stickers. It's for your safety. See how it's square. That's an early, early 2012. This is later. So that one right there is like a thousand some tractor off the line on the serial number. This one is right around 4100 tractor. You can see it's got a different sticker. Just wanted to point that out. I thought it was kind of cool. That there is differences between the tractors. I mean, it, even though they are the basically the same model, just one's hydro lift, one's not. And that one doesn't have stickers. But we'll see. We'll sticker it back up and paint it up and make it nice. All right. Thank you for watching. Keep tuned. I got a bunch of stuff coming.